In a very significant development, the Ministry of French Armed Forces has announced that France has launched flight trials of the latest F-4 standard of Rafale fighter jets, that involve test crews from the French Air Force French Navy and Dassault Aviation. The pilots of F-4.1 Rafale fighters wore the new Scorpion helmets that are a part of the F-4 upgrade program, and they were able to implement new combat features of the F-4 standard. It features long-range optoelectronics system, and adds enhancements to the infrared search and track system for detecting and identifying airborne stealth targets from a long range. Under the Rafael F4.2 upgrade, it will feature upgraded RBE-2 ASA radar, upgraded Dalio's long-range targeting pod, advanced spectra electronic warfare suite, improved sensors and communication suite and a new engine control unit. It will also integrate the MICA NG with an improved range and matrix sensor for greater sensitivity, and next generation variant of Meteor and the 1000 kg version of the Hammer. The Indian Air Force has already inducted 20 of 36 nuclear capable Rafale F 3R fighters, and Dassault Aviation have even offered the F 4 version to the Indian Air Force, and in fact, the Indian Air Force chief also got a briefing about the F 4 standard during his recent visit to France in April. France will offer Rafale F 4 standard against India's upcoming request for proposal for 114 fighter jets. And even if India goes ahead with staggered purchase for fulfilling its requirements, the Indian Air Force has the option of ordering 36 Rafale 4.1 standard fighters in 2022, that can be followed with 36 Rafale 4.2 standard fighters after 2025. India's Arjun series of main battle tank has ended after the recent order of 118 Mark 1A variant, and the DRDO has now shifted its focus on the next generation main battle tank program to replace the existing Russian T-72, for which Russia is repeatedly pushing its T-14 Armata tanks. The Indian Army has not finalized the NGMBT's preliminary staff qualitative requirements that is essential for sanctioning the project and allocate the funding. The Director of Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has already said, that the work had begun on crucial next-generation tank systems, and even when a 1,500 horsepower engine is sufficient for a 50-ton tank, the DRDO is keeping in mind the weight overruns in the NGMBT, and has launched a mission mode project to develop an 1800 horsepower indigenous engine, that will feature self-cleaning air filtration system, improvements in material fuel injection, that will contribute to the reduction in the engine size without compromising on power. The government's bold decision to open up the ammunition manufacturing sector for private agencies is paying rich dividends, as the Indian Army is all set to receive the first consignment of 40,000 high-quality grenades manufactured by Solar Industries India Limited, that was recently awarded the contract of manufacturing 10 lakh grenades worth 400 crore rupees for the Indian Army. A team of senior DRDO officers would soon conduct a pre-delivery inspection of the consignment that will pave way for its dispatch to the Indian Army. The RDO's Defence Research and Development Laboratory has made good progress with the indigenous ramjet engine for BrahMos NG missile, which will be significantly smaller than the currently used Russian 3D-55 ramjet engine, but will offer improved performance. Officials have said, that the Mach 3.5 capable BrahMos NG missile will be 5 meters long 50 centimeters thick and weigh around 1.5 tons, which is 1 ton lighter than the BrahMos air-launched cruise missile, and this sleeker and lightweight design will allow it to be carried by many more platforms including fighter jets and conventional submarines. The first prototype of the 290 km range BrahMos NG will be fielded in 2024, and this next generation variant will also diversify and expand the market for BrahMos aerospace, as many South American European and ASEAN countries have expressed interest in this missile, while the Brazilian government has expressed interest in the BrahMos NG for its new Gripen fighter jet. 
Lithuania is a small country in Europe with a population of 2.8 million, and the country's foreign minister has announced that Lithuania is quitting the China-led 17 plus 1 grouping with Central and Eastern European states, and has also advised other countries in the region to walk out of the forum that is established by China to forge ties and expand Chinese influence. Lithuania has taken this decision after identifying that Chinese espionage is a threat to its national security. Oh, my God.